Hello there. Today I want to have a look at MapInfo Pro's new interface on the 64-bit platform. When I say new, it's been around five years now, a little bit longer. Um, but what we've seen lately amongst our customers is that move to Windows 10 now, away from Windows 7 and the old 32-bit platforms. And now 64-bit is here, so it's time to move up. But there's quite a lot of change, so let's have a look at what sort of changes there are. My name's John Ivers, I'm a director here at CDR Group. We're a UK partner to Precisely and MapInfo. So let's have a look at the new interface. Well, this is not the new interface, this is the last 32-bit version, which is version 15. 0.0.3 if you're patched up. But here we see the old menu-driven interface. But really what have we got? We've got maps, we've got layouts, browsers, legends and a layout. And we've got button bars that you can move around. And all of this you can arrange on your desk. But the new interface, well now those menus have been replaced by ribbons. And you'll, it, if you're familiar with Office, it's what you get there. So it's not so out of place. But uh, yeah, they've, they've taken the, the opportunity really to organize things a little bit better. So the old menus of edit have gone. And now we've got home, table, map, spatial, layout, and raster. But we've still got browsers and we've still got maps and legends those haven't changed and the l layout well actually that has changed a little bit so let's get away from PowerPoint and let's have a look at map info so you start it up and oh this is new already this is our welcome screen we used to have a quick start dialog where you could open the last table or workspace or start blank well that's what you've still got over here on the left so don't that, you know, it's not too unfamiliar. It's still there. Um, previous workspaces as well, and previous tables. So actually, there's a few more options as well as running programs. Getting started. There's some guides for you. There's map info in the news. Down the bottom right, we've got video spotlight. So there's a YouTube channel that's currently being redone as precisely the new owners, and the next version of 1903 will or be badged precisely rather than Pitney Bowes. Up in the top right we've got our help areas, um, the help and tech support, the manuals, suggestions, uh, as well as the marketplace that you can tap into new tools which is actually embedded within MapInfo. Also key is the newer knowledge community. Also been around for a while but here you'll see news events and help and in fact if I skip over to the new precisely knowledge community here's the map info pro page um, there is more than just map info pro on the knowledge community there's things like spectrum spatial geocoding and data um, but yeah you can ask questions here you can search for the, through the knowledge base there's 15,000 articles in here if you want to get involved and ask a question, then you need to register for an account. And you can get daily or weekly digests of what people are talking about, what's new. So um, there's Andre talking about the last version four months ago, 2019.2. As well as announcements and some other sites that you have access to. So all of this from the start page, and you can can get back to this area within MapInfo. But here we are, we've got MapInfo open. Once you dismiss that, you open up a workspace. And here we've got our maps, and we've got browsers. And you can arrange it slightly differently because there's lots of tabs around the place. And yes, um, notice that when I've gone to a browser, the ribbon switches over to the table ribbon. If I go to a map, thank you, the map currently in the layer control or the layout, we get the layer ribbon.
but we have spatial, everything to do with uh, adding data, querying data, the map, how to operate there. And whilst home is normally where you start and you would open a workspace or table, notice we've got these little indicators, these little triangles, which drop down to open up a much larger gallery. Now, if I was to choose table, then that icon would be replaced at the top, so it becomes persistent. Otherwise, um, you'll get used to these icons, so you don't have to hit the drop down to open up the gallery. So we've got open workspace. What is new from 32-bit is you've got add workspace, because if you've got one workspace open and you open up another one, it will close the first one. So bear that in mind. I fell foul of that one. Table import universal data, open up a database table or run a map basic program. There are your Bing options as well as the newer GeoMap in three flavors, three styles, which is a form uh, of OpenStreetMap, opening up web services, and here's your recent files. But notice when you hover over any of these, you get your tool tips, um, you've got the full path. But also note over here, rather than clicking again and again, you have instant access to, if I want to open up this table, whether it shows up as a browser, um, add it to the current mapper, or create a new mapper or new, no view at all. So there's lots of saving, click saving options that we've got now. Uh, so a lot more usable and efficient in fewer clicks and for you to work quicker. What else happens with these ribbons? Well, if you notice, there's some dividers. And just below in each group, um, everything to do with the file is here, the clipboard, the window. So they're, they're divided up into groups logically. So they're all together. Something to look out for when you are searching for that function that you know is there. You just can't find it. Here in the table, we've got content, selection, doing all your queries, editing, the maintenance of your tables, and um, your statistics there. Now you can uh, customize any of these ribbons and this little area up here is the, the quick access toolbar. A lot of Windows applications have it. Uh, a lot of people ignore it because they, they certainly are tiny little icons. What I've done here is add into the default I've added in browser and close table because th those are things that I use a lot of. You have access to all of the commands and tabs. So if you want a particular tool on a table or on a ribbon, then just add it in. So there's the quick access toolbar, customizing your ribbons, but also your shortcut toolbars that you have now. Let's just dismiss that. Because in the past, when you've done a right click to get to a shortcut menu, you just get the menu. Now you have a toolbar. And that will appear either above or below, depending on whereabouts you are on the desk. But here, I've added in a couple of these and taken a couple of away. Depends how you use Map Info as to what tools you might want quick access to. And particularly if you've got uh, dual screens, or even three or four, then you might want to use this more than uh, dragging your mouse from screen to screen. Good. Uh, what else can we say about the ribbons? Remember, you don't have to do the drop down if it's if you want direct access to something. Your map tools here. I use the info tool a lot, so that's my um, tool of choice. If I choose over to click over to ruler, the ruler appears up here. But notice now, the ruler becomes persistent. Whilst we've got all these windows open, note, uh, depending on your colour scheme, that not only is it bold, but you also get a, a gold diamond to show you where, the, which is the current window that you're operating in. I want to mention the layer control because this is now called Explorer. It is still the layer control. But this panel moves on to do more than just showing you what's in 
the back window. So if I switch over to this one, what we have down in the next section, we have all the tables that are open. I've got a few windows open here, so they're not all valid in all of them, but um, this also shows you the, the path to the tables themselves. If you right click, you get another shortcut menu, so you can browse, export, have a look at the table structure, maybe change that. Um, a favorite is update column, so all the, the favorite tools are there, as well as closing the table, um, creating points. We can also do from here, that table is open, but it's not in my map window down here, so you can just click and drag and drop that table into my map window, and there it is, the, the sewer pipes, as well as the thematic that goes with it. So I like that, uh, native tables. Also, the next section is what windows you've got open. So when you do have a lot, uh, I know I tend to be uh, working in 20 different tables at a time, then we have a number of maps and browsers. It can get a bit cluttered, especially on my laptop here, much better if you've got one or two screens, large screens. But you know, sometimes you just want to get rid of the legend for a bit more room. Oh, there's another legend behind it. See, there's the thematic. So uh, if you want a bit more room, they're still there. Just click to bring them back. Same goes with tools and any of these windows. And down at the bottom, if I was connected to any external databases, I'd have my connections, but I'm not. They're all native. So I guess what I'm saying is nothing to be scared of here. It takes a bit of getting used to yes. And of course, you'll be looking around for where is my tool. I want to do this, I want to do there. Where is it? Where's it gone? Well, the other great thing that came in version 17 was the quick search. At first, I thought quick search was just going to be uh, take me to the help page. But it's not. It's better than that. So, for example, I want to create points. And as I type, it comes up with some suggestions. And there are two that match that, either inserting orthogonal points or creating points. This is the one I wanted. Why is it saying create, create, create points? What's all that about? Well, when I do click on it, it doesn't take you to help. It takes you directly to the dialog that I wanted. A few changes here, like adding to map. Um, but what that was putting in, really, was close. The fact that Thank you, there it is. Um, the create and create points. So when I was saying create and create, it was because it was in the section create and there's a button called create and one of the options is create points. So it's giving you all of the pointers towards it. What threw me there is I've, uh, the ribbon has been shortened and that will happen if you get a different resolution, which I've had to do for this. So. Okay, use that uh, quick find to find the tool. You know it's there. Yes, what I've got also loaded is a lot of the tools, the, the MapCAD tools. So this is filled up with a lot of um, those tools in the ribbons as well. An area I'd certainly need to point out though is, um, is the pro area. Where are my options gone? Pro takes you to the backstage area, and the backstage area gives you all that information about it. It's, it's a term they use in other Windows applications as well, but here we've got our updates, copyright, Bing terms, there's my version. Uh, the resources, that's familiar from our home page, the licensing. Um, there are online services, so you need to register for a, an account there, it's free. But you get 2,000 credits a month to do drive time and geocoding. If there's any add-ins in, well, I've got advanced, so sometimes called MapInfo Pro Raster and MapCAD and Map Uploader for Spectrum Spatial added. This is the key one, options. We've got our system options, windows, devices, and there's a few others in here that you might not be familiar with. Um, so there's new things, some things have changed. But some of these dialogues look exactly the same, and you should be familiar with those. Certainly, 
change all of your defaults to what you want the styles uh, please don't use map info symbols version 3 they're not true type font you don't get the nice halos and the shadows I wish they'd change that so I've changed my preferences on styles as well as the directories this is where it starts off when you go looking to open up a, a map info table or workspace where are they held this will save you perhaps half a dozen clicks every time dive in um, there's a lot to it and yes we run training courses to get you from 32 bit to 64 bit it takes a day to go over all these new features particularly in the new layout if you're not familiar with that it is so much better look you double click and you're into the map you don't have to go back and fro to and fro from the map to the layout um, you will grow to love it honest but get in touch if you need any more help over here at CDR group thanks very much for your time and we'll see you soon